Hello, car enthusiasts. You might think you've got the future of cars all figured out, and maybe you're convinced that EVs are the ultimate solution for clean transportation. But what if I told you that everything you've heard so far might not be the full story? That's because Toyota has just made a game-changing move that could turn the industry upside down. While other automakers were busy showing off flashy new models under bright stage lights, Toyota was quietly working behind the curtain on something that shocked the entire automotive world. In an unusually direct statement, Toyota CEO made headlines with a claim that caught everyone off guard. Their new dynamic force engine could mark the end of electric cars as we know them. This wasn't just a routine announcement. It was a bold challenge and a clear sign that Toyota no longer plans to sit quietly on the sidelines. So, what makes this engine so special? And why is Toyota so sure it can beat everyone else? Let's dig into the real story behind Toyota's most daring move yet. But before we go further, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you're always the first to catch the latest updates from the automotive world. Now, let's look at how Toyota's dynamic force engine strategy is shaking things up. Instead of simply tweaking existing engines, Toyota is completely rethinking how engines should work to meet tomorrow's demands. With the Dynamic 4 Series, Toyota is doubling down on improving traditional fuel engines, even as many rivals shift entirely to electric vehicles. These aren't minor tweaks. They're part of a bigger vision tied to Toyota's global design philosophy known as TNGA, or Toyota A New Global Architecture. TNGA helps Toyota design cars that are not only tougher and more efficient, but also quicker and cheaper to produce. While most companies are putting all their bets on EVs, Toyota is investing in making both fuel-powered and electric vehicles better. According to Toyota's CEO, the new dynamic force engines play a key role in this balanced approach. They're engineered to burn less fuel, emit fewer pollutants, and still deliver impressive performance. Plus, they're adaptable enough to run on alternative fuels like ethanol and hydrogen. Toyota's strategy shows they believe there's still a lot of life left in fuel engines, and these engines could remain a crucial part of global transportation for years to come. This choice is based on global needs. In many countries, electric cars are not practical because charging stations are limited and electricity is not always reliable. In those places, efficient fuel engines are still the best option. Toyota is building engines that can work in these areas while also meeting environmental rules and keeping costs low. The new dynamic force engines are designed to work with Toyota's TNGA platform. TNGA is a system that allows different cars to share the same parts and design. This helps reduce production time and makes it easier to use the same engine in many types of vehicles. For example, the same engine could be used in both a small sedan and a larger SUV without needing a full redesign. This system helps engineers focus on making engines better instead of starting from scratch each time. It also allows Toyota to bring updates and improvements to many models more quickly. This approach saves money, reduces waste, and supports future changes like switching to new types of fuel. The Dynamic Force engines focus on more than just speed or power. They are built to be efficient, reliable, and better for the environment. One of the most important changes is their high thermal efficiency. This means the engine can turn more fuel into usable energy rather than losing it as heat. These engines also use a longer piston stroke and a mix of fuel injection methods to improve performance and reduce emissions. Cooling systems are also more advanced. Electric water pumps and better temperature control help the engine stay at the right temperature. This makes the engine last longer and work better in different weather conditions. Every part of the engine was designed with care to support both performance and fuel savings. The Dynamic 4 Series includes three types of engines, a three-cylinder, a four-cylinder, and a V6. The i3 is small and uses less fuel, which is good for compact cars. The i4 is the most common type, found in many mid-sized cars. The V6 is stronger and made for larger vehicles that need more power. Each engine can work with several types of fuel. Toyota is testing options like ethanol and hydrogen. These engines are also designed to work with hybrid systems, so they can be used in both fuel-only and hybrid cars. 
Since TNGA was designed from the start to work with the dynamic force engine family, Toyota can easily mix and match different engine sizes and hybrid setups without doing a full redesign each time. This flexible system means Toyota can use the same basic engine design across the globe while still meeting local needs and regulations. It speeds up development, cuts down production costs, and gives drivers around the world a more consistent and refined experience. Whether someone is buying a Camry in the U.S., a RAV4 in Europe, or a Corolla in Southeast Asia, the core engine technology stays the same, efficient, reliable, and ready for the future. The first models to feature dynamic force engines were some of Toyota's most important global vehicles, the Camry, RAV4, and Highlander. These cars were also among the first to switch to the TNGA platform, making them ideal candidates for the new engines. In the Camry, Toyota launched the A25 FKS, a 2.5L four-cylinder gasoline engine producing around 203 horsepower, paired with an eight-speed direct shift automatic transmission. A hybrid version was also offered, delivering 176 horsepower from the gas engine and up to 208 combined horsepower with the electric motor. The result was a big improvement in acceleration, a quieter ride, and hybrid fuel economy reaching nearly 50 miles per gallon, beating out competitors like the Honda Accord Hybrid and Hyundai Sonata Hybrid. Next came the RAV4, which also adopted the A25A engine in both its regular and hybrid versions. For a compact SUV, this engine gave the RAV4 impressive performance. Its hybrid model quickly became the best-selling hybrid SUV in North America, thanks to over 40 miles per gallon fuel efficiency and lively driving dynamics. The success of the RAV4 hybrid showed that Toyota could scale up this new engine technology across its lineup, while still keeping things practical and dependable. In bigger vehicles like the Highlander, the same 2.5L dynamic force engine powers the hybrid models, replacing the older V6 hybrid systems. Even with a smaller engine, the new setup delivers 243 total system horsepower and gets up to 36 miles per gallon combined, a huge leap in fuel efficiency while also meeting strict emissions rules in both the U.S. and Europe. After proving itself in mid-sized cars and SUVs, Toyota began rolling out dynamic force engines in smaller vehicles too. Toyota's dynamic force engine isn't just a technical upgrade. It's a statement. A reminder that the internal combustion engine still has fight left in it, and Toyota isn't ready to give up its crown without a battle. As rivals rush toward full electrification, Toyota is quietly building something far more strategic, far more calculated. But in a rapidly changing auto industry, will this bold engine be remembered as a master stroke or a missed opportunity? Let us know your thoughts below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.